Thank you.
it going? <laughs> hmm. All right. Let's see if we can get this started. All right. Yeah. How's everybody doing? If you are there to speak, do so now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if we can start a game. <laughs> ah, how have you guys been? It's been a week. Been a week since we've tried to play a game together. I like this quite a lot, I'll be honest. I I was really nervous the first time, and uh but uh some of you stuck around for the five hours, so <laughs> uh yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, I I forgot to go over settings. I was hoping to go over settings to kind of uh uh my brain went away. Uh yeah, I was hoping that I could keep you guys' chat messages on stream for longer cuz they kind of fade, but I never got around to it. So, we're just <laughs> we're just uh doing this. And uh yeah, I'm hoping today, yeah. So if you were here last time, you know that we are currently trying to uh, complete the third uh, Fool's Trial. And I played for five hours and didn't do it, which was not intentional. But this time it kind of is. I'm hoping it's not another five hours of me bashing my head against a wall. But if it is, I'm just here to have a good time. <laughs> hmm. All right, I got some water. Just took a swig of that. And uh, to be honest, I'm kind of hoping, like I have, I have an idea for a different strategy. I'll explain it once I get in. But uh, yeah, if no one has any words to say, besides me, we will get going. Hey, stop that. Yeah. Yes, here is where I want to be. All right, do do do. Is that and yeah. Again, it's been a week, so it might take me a bit to warm up to things, but that's fine. We're just here to have fun. Okay, here we go. All right, so let me explain my thought process. So let's take a look at our charms. I have had Thorns of Agony equipped for a long time, and it served me very well. It's a very good charm. I like it. If I get hit, they get hit type thing. But um, I was thinking about it and remembering. At one point, I did a little test where I started a new file. You probably saw it when I was entering. And I uh, was just, just seeing how it worked, seeing how it recorded, how it looked. But I... Like, in the very beginning of the game, there's some crawly things you can run into. And I ran into one by accident, which, you know, happens. But I then I, I didn't realize it, but I think this charm has taught me to, like, once I take a hit, I don't move. Like, I just wait for it to hit for me, which is maybe not an instinct I should encourage, <laughs> you know? So, I'm thinking I'm not gonna use Thorns of Agony, because I feel like it's, like, I didn't realize it, but I feel like it's trained me to not think very hard about avoiding getting hit. Like, it's, yeah, it's one of those, yeah, like, you know what, I don't, I hope I'm making sense, but, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's trained me to, uh, like, be okay with taking hits, because, like, oh, they, they take a hit too, but, you know, the, what's mainly killing me in this fight is the fact that I'm taking hits I don't really need to. Like, I, I just take a lot of hits, and in the end it finally kills me. So, what I'm saying is, uh, we're reconsidering what, uh, charms we decide to have. So, yeah. Aw, oh, welcome in! Thank you so much! 
yeah, like I said, we're reconsidering what charms we want to use because Thorns of Agony has served me well, but I feel like it's trained me to be okay with taking hits and that's what's getting me killed in this fight. So we're trying different techniques. Okay. Yeah, so no Thorns of Agony, but I like to order them with the Wonners first. So, let's see. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think this is really good. I just like doing this. Like, I am a big healer that's like, and maybe that'll change, but yeah, I want this one for sure. Let's see. This is the length. Hmm. This greatly increases range. We'll think about that in a minute. Okay, any more wonners that we want? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like this one, definitely. Uh -huh. No. That one's a no. I'll think about this one. Okay, because the... How many do we have left? Two, four, six, eight. Okay, eight. This one I have just incorporated into fighting, so... Okay, so... Yeah. This is a one -er that I want, and this is a one -er. So from there we have... Two, four, six. Okay, six left. I think I can do what I was thinking then. Okay, let's see. We have Stalwart Shell, which is two, which I like. More invincibility frames. Sharp Shadow. And this. And Long Nail. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, this is going to work. This is going to be good for me. Okay. Fear not, for I am here! Thank you so much! I feel so much better now that I know you are here to witness this event. <laughs> Welcome to chat. Okay, let's see. We got... Yeah, we're doing Sharp Shadow. I guess that doesn't leave room for... Ah... Uh, no, no. We have a plan. We have a plan. It's okay that we don't have Dream Wielder. We have a plan. Okay. Yeah, Sharp Shadow, Long Nail, and Stalwart Shell. Alright, so this is the new configuration that I'm trying. We're gonna see if it changes anything. Because I've still got the Grub song that gives me a little more. Steady Body, Dung Defender, Spores, Sharp Shadow, Long Nail, and Stalwart. Alright, let's see how this goes. Yeah, I think it will go pretty well. Come here. Hey, dude. <laughs> yeah. And someone last streams told me I could do this. <laughs> okay, okay. And I don't think it's a mean thing to do, because it's healing water. I'm healing him. It's fine. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's do it. <laughs> up we go alright first uh, I was about to say warrant it's not a warrant what's it called um, uh, the thing you sign when you go into haunted houses that are really intense what's it called um, mm, uh, it's not a disclaimer either um hmm I'm not sure. You know what? It'll come to me. The night sure is hollow. It sure is. Oh gosh, which... Yeah. Okay. In we go. Consent form. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Waiver! No, wait! Waiver is the word. Yeah. I signed my waiver. I'm going in. Hey guys! It's me again. <laughs> Oof, ouch. Okay. You know, this might take me a little longer, but I'm honestly okay with that. There we go. Ouch. Oh yeah, I can tell I have Stalwart Shell. I love this one so much. Dude, come on. Please. Please. 
Thank you. I thought I hit this one already. Ow. Okay. Not going super well so far, but honestly, also not as bad as I thought. Whack. Okay. I had an idea for this. Let me see if it works. Okay, it does work. Not as well as I hoped, but it does work. Yeah, I'm just trying a bunch of new techniques because I kind of got stuck at a certain point last time. But works for me. All right, so let's go grit our soul. First attempt, done. <laughs> Maybe this goes on for long enough. If I knew how to make a counter, I would. There we go. And let's go get some soul. Mm -hmm. I'm sure speedrunners just like zoom through that area, but like, I just feel bad because it's just like everyone's sleeping. I don't want to disturb them. They're all sleeping, you know? They're all sleeping. Hmm. All right. Up we get. And trying again. Just for fun, we'll save. I know it saves every time I die, but I um, I just felt like it. Mm -hmm. Alright. Mm -hmm. Sign the waiver. And. Oh, wait, that's the wrong. No, that's the right button. Okay. In we go. All right, let's get back to business. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Ow. There we go. All right. Over that. Let's heal over here. Hey guys, just walk forward a little. Go into this cloud. That's the ticket. There we go. Ah, this one always gets me. Ouch. Okay, got it. Get off the ground. Ow, ouch. Stop it. Okay. Gosh, I forgot how fast this happens. Okay. Heal a bit. Okay, you know, I'm kind of liking this. This isn't quite as frantic as my other attempts. Maybe it's just because I'm chilled out. Boom. Boom. Here once more. Don't you try anything. I see you. Can't fool me. There we go. Oh gosh, I forgot. <laughs> there we go. Get away from it before it blows up. Oh gosh, I don't like this side. Oh well, it'll work. It'll it'll work for staying away from the floor during the carpet bombing. <laughs> okay, and then spiky. Yes. is going rather nicely, I think. Oof. Ow. See, as soon as I say that, as soon as I say that. Ow. Ow. Hmm. Okay, let's just... 
take a second. Just a second, guys. I'll, I'll get to you in a sec. Ow. There we go. Mm -hmm. Ow. Yeah, see? Whenever I get hit, I pause because I'm waiting for the thorns of agony. Which is maybe not the best in a game where you need to be a bit reactive to stay alive. Perfect. Let me up! Ouch. Okay. Awesome. Ah! Ouch! Ow! Okay, got that one. Huh? Let's just take a second. Okay. There we go. Ah! Almost fell and died. It's fine. <laughs> okay. There we go. That works. <laughs> I will take it. Okay. Oh gosh. That also works. I didn't mean to fall off, but... Whatevs. Ouch. You are so mean to me for no reason. Oh, whoops. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a good thing that I <laughs> didn't die, but... Ouch. Stop it! Die! Ouch! with that. That was pretty good. That was a pretty good one. Alright. Hopefully you can't hear my neck cracking. Mm -hmm. I think it was pretty good. <laughs> All things considered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm realizing like without the thorny vines or vengeance vines or whatever, I'm a lot more careful with how many hits I think I take. Like, I try to dodge a lot more, and I think that's kind of the key. Like, I would just eat hits the other times, which, like, it can work. I just... not that great. Also, take a drink of water, everyone. Mm -hmm. All right, back at it again. Here we go. Legitimate question, why do you have to do this every time? Like, I don't know, it just seems kind of odd that it's like every time. Like there's a thing right next to it for if you want to try a bunch of times, like a bench, but it doesn't remain open. Like you have to say yes every time. Maybe it's, uh, part of the story. Ouch. There we go. Ah! Oh, dang it. Still not great at dodging those guys. That's alright. Live and learn. Ow. Bang. Ow. Oh, 
Oh, right. <laughs> Whoops. a moment to heal, but we are rather low, I would say. Let's do it again. Don't even think about it, buddy. There we go. Okay. Heal. Perfect. Alright, we're getting somewhere. Hmm. Right, let's get on the wall. Perfect. And we'll just chill up here for a while. Don't don't worry about what's happening on the rest of the screen. I'm just chilling up here. Don't even worry. Alright, spiky time. There we go. Yeah, I got a bit eager there. Ow. Let's just... Don't, don't come in here. Don't do it. It will be bad for you, I promise. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. Where are he going? Dude, please. Just, just please, sir. There it is. Come on. <laughs> ah! Ha! He almost got me there. Swing at him. Ow. I'm healing. You guys are mean. Ouch. Owie. Just take a second. Yeah. Perfect. We'll just whoop. Heal a bit more. Yay! did it. I remember you can like bounce off of these guys. Oh, <laughs> 
Let's just... Let's just take a second, because the soul guys are next. Ah. Please die. Please, please. Okay, cool. Where's the little guys? It's just... Yeah. I think he's gonna fall on my head. Oh, gosh, there he is. <laughs> There's another one, isn't there? Yeah, okay, he's slow. Let's... Actually, I don't have enough. Die. the third one and that was pretty far all right before we go take a sip of water okay all right that was the third attempt not bad continuing on vote Grab the soul from over here. There we go. And we keep going. Okay. All the way to the little pool at the end. Does this guy ever leave the pool? I mean, like, I can't blame him. It's a pretty sweet spot. But, like, I feel like maybe he should go do something, but oh well. <laughs> Here we go. Jump up we go. Ha ha. And we open. Sign the consent form. Boom. Yeah, I seriously wonder what the reason for that is. That you have to say yes each time you try. Hmm. Ow. And boom. All things considered, not bad. Come on, buddy, just please. There we go. Perfect. Woo! Hurry! Ow. You are so mean to me for no reason. Uh -huh. All 
right, jump over here. Let's get out of here. Okay. Stay out of the way of the explosions, everybody. You ever come across explosions in real life? Just don't. Dang it, that always happens. Die. Thank you. Just be patient with these guys. They'll come to you. Just be patient. Okay. Awesome. Una mas. Un mas. That's the more correct way to say it. Where's the thingies? Where are they? Okay. Are they over here? There it is. Okay. Awesome. And the third. Bam. Okay. dodge my attacks. Only I can do that.
Heal. Dude, stop. Oh my gosh, how many rounds did this thing have? <sighs> ah, man. Just a little too far away. Okay. Meh. Okay, seriously. How much? That's a lot of rounds of guys. I'll just say, that's a lot of rounds of guys. Hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, like I was feeling really good about that one. And I got farther than I ever have before. So I'm pretty pleased with myself. It's just like... I thought they were the end, but no, there's more <laughs> afterwards. Uh, but such is life, such is the way of things. There we go. Yeah, not having very many opportunities to use my different avatars' emotions because it's just like, yep, beat up the guys once again. <laughs> okay. There we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Walking. Again we go. Perfect. Sign the waiver. I will. Mm, boop. Here we are. Look at them, they're so happy to see me. Ow. Just die, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's recover a little bit. There we go. Heal one. Ow! There we go. There we go. There we go. Don't you try anything. I see you. Oh, you tried something. You're dead. Dude, please. Dude, please. Just, just can you just make this easy on both of us, please? There we go. No! Ah, oh, that was a dumb mistake. Should have realized. Oh well. kidding me? The one time I'm not paying attention, they actually aim at me. There we go. There we go. One heal. There we go. Come on. 
Come this way, good sir. Please. But not too quickly. You'll startle me. Mm -hmm. Come on. There we go. And throw the more. Ow. Perfect. Let me up. Ow. Dude, die, please. Ow. These guys are so mean to me for no reason. Just a little bit. <laughs> Maybe we'll just. Yeah, we'll just forget about that one. It's fine. Yeah, I don't know what to say after I like die. Because it's just like, oh, yep, we're trying again. Dude. That was ridiculous. Cheap shot. Absolute cheap shot. Let it be known. My shot is a backstabber. My soul turns on me on a whim. Truly, I'm suffering. There we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Try to finger a little bit. Sorry. There we go. Ugh. There we go. Come. Mm -hmm. In we go. Gosh. Sorry. Sorry. Ow. Yeah, that's right. Back up. Good. We've recovered a little bit. Rough start, but it works out. Let's not be fools like last time. Alright. Ah! Nope, nope, nope. Stay out of the way of this. Okay. And we're on to spikes. Ow. 
Hey. Ow! Die. I realize I get very aggressive when I'm hit by things that I usually dodge. I apologize for this behavior. Ah! See, sometimes they just get right up in my face. And I can never tell when it's gonna happen. Ridiculous. You know, actually, I do know when it happens, and it's least convenient for me. That's when it happens. Okay, awesome. Let me up. what strategy I'm trying to do here. I'm just... Closer. Just consistently come closer. Ah, oh, man, it faded. Yeah, let's... Okay, awesome. Woo! Nice. Whoop. Ow. Ow. <sighs> Oh gosh, that's not good for me. I swung. Ah. See that that gets me inside. That gets me inside because I feel like I could have lived that if I was just because mm. I press things, but it's like a couple. It's like a half second too early or too late or something. You know what? You know what? I'll get back. I'll go back to old reliable. Old reliable. It's my keyboard, guys. It's my keyboard. That's why it's not working. It's my keyboard. Except I actually have an excuse because my keyboard is wireless and I don't think that has as good of a connection as normal. And the battery light's been on for a while, but I've just been strategically ignoring it, so. That could very well be a factor, but uh, or it could not. Maybe I just need to get good. Let's say both and move right along. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Walk through. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It's interesting to me that you come up on this side, but you can't go in until you jump to the other side and say yes. It's very interesting. <laughs> hmm. Oh well. Whoosh! Alright, let's get into it. Ow. Okay, and now we're gonna heal a little bit. For you. Ow, die. 
Okay. That wasn't so bad. Ow! He really doesn't hit me from there. Rude. Ow. There we go. Bam. Heal just a bit. I believe there's two more. Yeah. Thought it took three. Oh well. One. There we go. Please just please. Okay. Awesome. Let's and up on this wall. This is my favorite wall to hide on. Yeah, sorry if I keep making the same jokes over and over. But there's only so many times I can say this is the carpet bombing, because it's just true! They just, like, drop a bunch of bombs! time. Ah! Okay, heal a little more. Whew! Coming up. Slowly, but yes. Okay, awesome. Whew! Down. One, heal. Okay, perfect. Our decision I just made. time. surprising the first time, pal. Okay. Ah! 
Oh man. Ah! No, I feel like each attempt takes a while. Like, a pretty decent amount of time is spent just getting through all the waves I know how to handle already. But that's the grind. Such is the life of the... Uh, I was gonna say a gamer, but I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I want to declare myself a gamer. <laughs> Nothing super wrong with it. I'm just being goofy, because I... Not sure what to say. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, just for fun, let's look at the map. All right, so we're... Okay, I can't see where I am, which is a problem because I get lost very easily, but we're up here. Here, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll go like this so I can show you guys what I'm saying. Okay, so we're here. What else do I want to do? Yeah, there's one little guy down here that I don't know how to get. And I think I might need a different ability or something to do because he's just in an area, like, I don't know how to get there. And there's this, like, one little beehive area right here, and I can see through the wall, and there's, like, more right here. I think I need, like, maybe a swim ability or something, because way over in, like, green path and whatever, there's a little tunnel that it looks like you can go through if you know how to swim, but I don't. Also, there's this fight over here that I still want to do. Hmm. Yeah, and I... Like, when I came over here, it was kind of weird. Oh yeah, I guess I can just go here. Maybe and maybe I'll explore here later. And I'm still not sure if I have to destroy the cocoons to go do what's way down here, because this is a door, and it's like, oh, you need a blue stone, and the things that's blue is the cocoon things. But, oh well, okay, so there's a bunch of things I could do for now. I will keep trying at this fight for a couple more times. We'll see how we feel. And by the way, as I'm speculating, you don't need to actually tell me. I'm just musing to myself. I would like to remain unspoiled in my experience. Oh, wait, did I not? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yes, okay. Wait, what? Yes? Oh. <laughs> Oops. Alright, everyone take a drink of water. <laughs> awesome. <clears throat> okay. Did that. Let's go again. <laughs> Hey! Why did it 
Why'd you do that to me? Hey. Let's just go over this way and heal up for a minute. Yeah, approach me if you dare, buddy. You can tell I've been watching H-Bomber because my speech patterns have changed to match his somewhat. was foolish on my part. As was that. Die. Okay. Okay. Let's heal up from that foolish decision. Foolish decision. Foolish decision. Take care of this guy. Do -do -do. Hang out on the wall. How are you guys doing? Yeah. You know, I wrote this post a while ago about how Mythbusters, when uh, they were like doing their experiments, they had a myth where it's like, oh, you can make a bomb out of like this household thing. And they tested it and it was so powerful that they felt like it they couldn't ethically air the episode because it would be like really dangerous so eventually like when the uh uh like eventually a call was put out like hey do you know of any dangerous whatevers and they were like uh yeah we actually uh <laughs> happen to know of a household object that can be made into very dangerous materials and it's like what did what did they discover like what's uh what's going on with that because i feel like i remember them like doing an episode about making a bomb out of, like, fertilizer or something? And that's, like, pretty household and pretty dangerous, so it's like, what did they discover that was, like, worse than that? Because they do some pretty, like, things that could be construed as, like, oh, this would be dangerous for the public, but it's like, this is for entertainment, this is fine. So, like, what did they discover that was so, like, unbelievably bad that they were like, oh, we can't air this. And, you know, it's an unsourced Tumblr post, so it's like they could have been making it up, but I don't know. I kind of want it to be real, you know what I mean? Like, you want to believe the urban legends. Ah! I mean, that's why we have Mythbusters. That's why we have Mythbusters, honestly. You wanna believe. Dude, just... Please just die. Please. I am but a small child. <laughs> Please. Actually, it's just... Okay. Ow! Absolute fool. Okay. I can also feel myself, like, I used to watch uh, Rondu a lot, and I can feel myself saying the stuff they would say, which is so strange, but it makes sense, you know? You copy the ones that you like, knowingly or unknowingly. And I'm aware of it, but I don't really know how to stop, so <laughs> you guys are, uh, you're stuck with this. Most household cleaning solutions can be turned into bombs. Oh yeah, absolutely. So I'm just wondering, like, what did they figure out that was so much worse than that? Because 
it's not like common knowledge, but most people, if you say that, they're like, oh yeah, I can like see that. So what did they know that like wasn't already known that they were like, oh, this is bad. We can't let our audience know about this. You know what I'm saying? Oh gosh, I am in some trouble. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. And you know, honestly, like, we have a lot of chemicals in our houses that are just generally dangerous. Like, I don't remember how, but if you mix the wrong cleaning solutions together, you can actually uh, make, like, mustard gas. Or, like, some awful, awful chemical that's gonna really mess you up. So, yeah, I guess the moral of the story... I guess, is if you are <laughs> cleaning, don't just mix all of your stuff together because you could actually really cause some damage to yourself and the people around you. Yeah, and so it's just like, what household thing is like, people don't think, oh, that could be a bomb, and Mythbusters tested it out and they were like, oh, this is way worse, we can't air this. Like, I don't know. Like I said, it could be entirely untrue but in the case that it is true what did they discover you know <laughs> uh yeah i like to watch uh adam's youtube channel occasionally adam one of the hosts and uh yeah it's pretty cool he does a lot of different things like he'll build certain things he answers a lot of questions because as well as being part of Mythbusters, he's an industry professional. Like, he builds props and all these different things. And so, it's really interesting to hear him answer questions and get his insight, because, like I said, he's been in his section of the film industry for a long time. Like, he knows a lot of stuff. And so, it's really cool to watch and see and answer questions, you know? That was almost flawless! Woo! Come at me, bruh! Ow! There we go. Heal a little bitch. Yeah. Honestly, I consider Mythbusters part of my childhood. But I don't actually think I watched that much. I think it was like a case of the library had like one disc. No, wait, m maybe did we did watch a lot. But like the library had like one that we just rented over and over. But I don't know. I feel like I honestly don't remember that much. It was just the vibe, you know? Like, it's part of my soul. But could I tell you my favorite episode? Nope. Ah! Ow. <laughs> ah! <laughs> See, this is what I mean. It'll like load in and then I just eat eat it. Like, <laughs> absolutely. Ugh. Die already, please. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Let's take an opportunity to heal. Okay. Yeah, I vaguely remember some things like okay i don't remember what myth they were doing but at one point tori like got the other because you know they had like the main dudes and then the side plot and one time it was like yeah tori is bringing a mini mythbuster into the world so she's gonna go now and then she left and it was just the two dudes and that was fine but i don't remember what myth they were testing i just remember the announcement and that she was gone for a while and also at one point tori like got an eye full of gas when they were like testing something with a semi truck i think and to this day i just wonder like how did that happen how in the process of filming did she get like an eye full of gasoline like what were they doing where she was near gasoline in that way and how did it get in her eyes like, I don't say this to be judgmental, like, oh, how did they let that happen? I say it because I'm genuinely curious, like, what series of events led to this happening? You know what I mean? Because I'm sure they had, like, a whole thing afterward where it's like, okay, this is what went wrong, and this is what we're gonna do in the future to make sure 
Like, they don't get eyes full of gas. It was kind of educational, you know? It was just like, oh yeah, in order to treat this, we will wash out the eye, and yada yada. And it was really good. It was like, oh, safety. If this happens to you for whatever reason, this is what you will do. They didn't, like, film it that way. They didn't frame it as an educational thing. But it was educational. Like, you still learn stuff from watching people, even if it's not strictly intended to be educational. And bam! Bam! Oh, come on! I thought that was the last one. There it is. Okay. I'm trying to remember if there are any others. Ow. Mm. There was one where, like, oh yeah, I remember one. It was like, ah, yes, a husband just wants all the bugs out of his house. So he sets off a bunch of the spray bug things, and he his house blows up while he's away, because there's a gas leak. And, like, I think the conclusion they came to was, like, it's technically possible, but the amount you'd have to do is, like, unreasonable like there's no way it happened exactly the way that they say in the myth which makes sense that's how it is for a lot of things but i also remember that they made sure that they got to blow up a house at the end <laughs> which was very fun you got to see a house blow up all good times <laughs> It's interesting, I think one time I watched, like, the pilot episode, which, like, was intended to, um, like, pitch it to a network or whatever, and it was, a, there was a lot more, like, math, like, a lot of the, because the way, um, the show kind of ended up, it was a lot, like, funny hijinks, and, like, some of it was about the building, but in the early versions, it seemed like it was a lot more focused on the idea of like, oh, we're gonna teach you this math, we're gonna show you how we came to our conclusions. Which is really interesting to see, like, how that change came to be. I like the, like, format they had in the final show better, because, you know, it's more entertaining. Just die, dude, oh my gosh. Yeah, but it's definitely interesting to see, like, a pilot version of something, versus how it ended up being in the, whatever, ow. <laughs> Maybe I should stop talking. I'm kind of distracting myself. But the ta- Ugh. I can talk. But at the same time, it kind of makes the time go by faster. <laughs> uh, like, yeah, I'm just babbling, but honestly, it's, it's kind of nice. Like, <laughs> just rambling about things. Hmm. Yeah, like, uh, I think a while ago I also, I didn't watch it. I didn't watch the full thing because I don't think I could bring myself to. But I watched the, uh, like, like a tiny clip of the pilot version of Gravity Falls. And, you know, it has a different style. And, like I said, I didn't end up watching the full thing just because of that. But, hang on, I'm taking a drink. Drink some water if you haven't in a while. Yeah. Oh wait, almost forgot. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, cause like I've seen still images of the pilot version of Gravity Falls, and I'm sure a lot of the things that I love about Gravity Falls are still in there. Like I'm sure if I watched it, it wouldn't be that bad like it'd be objectively fine because like a network saw it like disney saw it and was like yeah we can make a show out of this so obviously there's stuff in it that's worth like that is reminiscent of the show it became but like i just couldn't <laughs> i just couldn't do it like and that's just a me thing i just couldn't do it <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, one of the first times I, like, realized, or, like, kind of became aware of my own biases in a way that I hadn't heard before was when I watched Lackadaisy for the first time, and I, like... I showed it to my older brother and his wife. I didn't like, I wasn't there for when they watched it, but I like recommended it and I was like, oh yeah, it's so cool, like watch it. And then like in the process of them seeing it, I was like, oh, what did you think? And they, <laughs> they got this look that was kind of like, um, and then my brother was like, <laughs> my brother's in marketing, so he knows how to like uh, talk to people good. And he was like, well, what did you like about it? <laughs> And, which basically I know is code for like, we didn't really like it, but we understand that you did and we want to know why type thing. And so, and I was kind of like, well, what on earth? What do you mean? Like, why, why don't you see what I see? And like, I don't know, it kind of made me aware in a way I haven't really been in the past of like, my own tastes, I guess? Because everyone has biases, everyone has things that they like for whatever reason. And I was like, okay, like, what do I like about it? And it's like, well, it's really well animated, and, like, it's it's cartoon animals, basically. And I like the gangster theme, like, there's a lot of things that I do really love about it. But I don't know, it was kind of, like, it was a little bit sad because it's like, oh, they don't like this thing as much as me. But it was also kind of a growing experience because it really showed me like, oh, y yeah, <laughs> plot twist, Llama. Your tastes aren't universal. Yeah. And so, you know, it, it kind of opened my mind, as it were. <laughs> yeah, not trying to sound pretentious, but uh, it was it was honestly really cool. Like, it was just a good experience to realize, like, yeah, some people don't like the same things you do, and that's fine. Please don't- okay. Sometimes when I hop over, I'll, like, run straight into one. There we go. Ah! Okay. Heal for a second. Yeah. Yeah, and so- and I was- I was kind of thinking about the lackadaisy pilot, like, a little more critically. It was super successful. People loved it. Like, their Kickstarter for another, for like a full season went really, really well. But I was thinking about it and I was like, okay. Because, um, it was okay. I liked the animation, but the character seemed just bland. I hope it'll change if it does get picked up. Yeah. Same here. That's like, because see, I actually. I think, yeah, after I watched that pilot, I actually went, or maybe it was like directly before the pilot dropped, I was like, oh, I better read the comic so I know what's going on. And I, so I did. I, I went and I like binged the whole comic. It took me a while. It was like two in the morning by the time I was done. But the thing, like, if it was gorgeous. It is a gorgeous comic. Absolutely beautiful. But but and like it's one ton of awards tons of awards you know not tons but you know it has won awards but the thing that i noticed is it is absolutely gorgeous and i can see the ideas that the creator is going for like i can see them building up stuff but it's been going for years at this point like a really long time there is a lot to read in it but it as I was reading, I was enjoying myself because, again, it was pretty, but it felt like it feels like it's only just now starting to get into the plot, which, like, is kind of bizarre because it's been going for so long, but it just, like, it just, hang on, I have to stop talking. I, I need to focus for a second. One second. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll keep going in just, uh, just a minute, but, uh. Yeah, I'm, I need to stop being distracted for just a second. I'll, uh, I'll continue talking about the animated cat show in a second. Okay, heal here. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Yeah, wait till I get rid of this guy. Still continuing. There we go, okay. 
let's avoid these guys. Yeah, next stream, a lot of thoughts on this subject. Yeah, well, I'll get back to it in just a minute. I was just having a bit of trouble, but yeah. Yeah, we're getting to the section that I'm not as good at, so I'll, I'll shelve this discussion for just a minute until I can uh, focus a little bit more, until I'm a little less occupied trying to stay alive. Okay. Ow! wasn't paying attention to my health. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. Um, okay, take a drink of water. Okay. So. Right. The comic. The comic. Okay. So, there was a recent animation pilot that came out. I forget the name, but it felt like it took forever to understand the character characters. I'll go look for it. Yeah, okay, so basically, it's, yeah, like I said, this comic's been going for years. Like, it has so much gorgeous work, and it takes a while because everything is extremely detailed, just absolutely jaw-dropping art, but it only feels like just now the plot is kind of starting. Like... There's moments in there where I can, like, see what is going to happen. But most of it feels like setup. Like, there's... And maybe it's just because I was reading it late at night. Like, I could be completely wrong, and maybe when I go back and read it, uh, I'll, like, have a different opinion. But it's called Port C. Oh, I'll have to check it out. Yeah, um... Yeah, maybe... When I go back and... Yeah, I think I saw that in my recommended. Maybe when I go back and, like, read it again, I'll be like, oh, this is paced just fine. But it feels like... Like I said, the plot is, like, just barely starting. And... The... Comic has been going for years. Like, we've been introduced to these characters for such a long time. And it only kind of in recent comics feels like the story's been going anywhere. Like, if you're just there for the aesthetics and the gorgeous art, like, it's perfectly fine. It's good. But if you want, like, a story that is consistently moving forward, it felt very slow. Like, very, very slow burn type thing. Which is objectively fine. Hang on, I'm taking a drink of water. Make sure you're drinking water too. Yeah. Like, objectively, that's fine. But I could, like, comparing the uh, Lackadaisy pilot to the comic, it kind of makes sense the way it turned out. Because they are a very good artist. Like, a very good artist. Excellent at making art and making things that look absolutely gorgeous. But... When it comes to the story, it takes a while for things to get going. And there was a lot of things where it's, like, implied. Because, like, it's been several years. Like, okay, in case, <laughs> in case you don't know what the premise of the uh, of Lackadaisy is, because you only watch the pilot and they kind of only touch on it in detail, like, right at the end... The, the story of Lackadaisy is supposed to be, like, there was this, um, there was, like, this, uh, bar owner, it's, like, middle 1920s, Prohibition, and he ran, like, the best alcohol illegal joint in town, like, everybody liked him, it was, it was awesome, but then he, like, died, and people think low-key someone murdered him, and so... What's left is his widow, who is trying to still run this establishment 
and everyone thinks is like, oh, you can't, like, they don't think she can do it because Augustus, that's the name of the guy, was like a force of nature kind of thing. Like, he, they were like, oh, without Augustus, this whole thing is sunk. Like, he was such a force of nature. And it's kind of implied that he, like, is kind of manipulative. Like, even people, like, people have not people who knew him have nothing but nice things to say, but the way that it is, it's kind of like he knew how to get people to do what he wanted. Because um, there's like this... One of the other characters, Zeb, is like talking to the wife and is basically like, hey, like we were fine just going out and doing whatever until you met Augustus and then you were okay with marrying him. And it was it's like a whole thing. But like, it takes a long time to understand exactly what's going on. And like, it takes a very long time before you actually learn that like, oh, Zeb and the wife, Widow Lady, are old bandmates. Like, she was in the band with them before, and they were like a traveling band. But then Augustus was like, stay, and so they did. And now he's dead, and Zeb, the other band member, is like, hey, why are we still sticking around type thing? And so, like, there's a lot of layers to what's going on, but it takes a long time to get there. And so, in... Sorry, I keep going on and on and on. Basically, the point I'm trying to make... Water again. The point I'm trying to make is that... The creator is very good at making absolutely gorgeous things, and I think they have solid story ideas. Like, from what I understand, the story they have set up, there's a lot of intrigue. Like, it's implied that there's some back dealing going on. In the most recent ones, we just met this police chief who's like really seeming like he's gonna crack down on things and is maybe gonna be a problem. So they have like good ideas, it's just like they take a long time to get there because the visuals are so complex and so gorgeous and so it almost feels like a form over function type thing like the story is functional it does well enough but it is supported a lot by the visuals like if the if the comic didn't look as good as it did, I don't know if people if as many people would like it and that's a mean thing to say but I I think it's true like, you kind of have to dig a bit to understand what what the author's getting at with the characters. Like, Rocky is honestly... I feel like he has a lot of depth as a character. Like, but I only think that because I think really hard about things. Like, if you were just seeing him as he's presented, he only just recently had an emotional conversation with someone, and that's because he got, like, brained by a flying saw and was, like, mega concussed so he wasn't able to put on his crazy facade like he usually does. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Th the point is, like, it has a lot of potential, but I think in terms of a pilot episode for a series, it could have done with less car chase and more explaining what's going on. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, like, don't get me wrong, it's a amazing work that they've done, but it's like, is this as important as establishing what's going on with our characters? Because it's only at the very, very end that we get to see them all together and interacting in a way that's not, oh no, we gotta get away from the whatever, you know what I mean? Ouch. That just completely missed me. Okay, come here. I always time it wrong. Come here. Okay. Whack him. Oh, that works. <laughs> Ow! Ow! 
Oh gosh, I haven't figured out quite how to deal with this. Ah, oh, man. Have you seen The Amazing Circus? Yes, I have. I enjoyed myself with that one. And, you know, to the point I was trying to make, I think it is a much better pilot than Lackadaisy. Both are amazingly animated for their own different reasons, but in terms of a pilot that is trying to pitch itself and be like, hey, I'm awesome, I'm exciting, you should definitely watch me. I think Digital Circus does a much better job. Because, like... Yeah, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of thinking um, off the cuff here a little bit. Because I haven't put a ton of thought into what makes a good pilot. And I feel like if I broke it down in my head, I'd have better words about it. But... Lackadaisy is a lot of spectacle. It's like, ooh, cool gunfight, cool car chase, awesome, look at how Freckle goes nuts with his gun, look at this cool shot. Like, it's, it looks very good. It's a lot of spectacle. And, but people only stay for the spectacle if they understand why it's happening and what's going on and, like, why you should be rooting for these guys. Yeah, whereas, uh, yeah, and, like, Lackadaisy struggled a little bit. Like, it only really touched on the characters and their relationships right at the end. Whereas Digital Circus, the whole point is like, oh, you're new here. Let's take you all throughout this world. And there's a very clear goal in mind, right? Like, these characters is like, most of them are like, oh, you can't get out, we've given up. Whereas Pomni is like, I want to get out, and at the end, it's kind of implied that, like, no, you are trapped here, but I think that's going to continue being a uh, mainstay for her character, where she's kind of like, no, like, I can't give up, I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna get all of us out, type deal. And the other characters, we didn't really see a ton of them, but we got enough that we can kind of get what their deal is. Like, Ragatha is like trying to be a semi-leader and being optimistic about their situation, even though she's really kind of losing it underneath. Jax is very much like, oh yeah, I don't care about anything, I'm a jerk. But if you look at his actions, it's like, like he knows more about what's going on than he's letting on. Like. He's got his own ideas and plans for what should happen. And so he, that's kind of intriguing. Yeah, overall, it does a better job at selling itself as like, hey, there's mysteries here. Don't you want to know what's up? Whereas with uh, Lackadaisy, that's kind of secondary to uh, spectacle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hope that's making a little bit of sense. Ow. I'll read that in just a sec. Okay. Ah, gee, these guys. Okay. Okay, cool, 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 cool. That wasn't so bad. Ah! Well, that was foolish of me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like I said, I'll I'll read your message once I deal with this active threat. Okay, let's see. My opinion on the end was that Pomni already saw the end for everyone and herself. Yeah. And that's definitely a reading I can agree with at the same time. Yeah, which... But that's like... That still makes you kind of curious. It's like, okay, if there really is no hope for an exit, then what are they gonna do? You know? It's still... Uh, there's still enough there to make you curious, even if you assume at the end that 
like Tomney gives up and doesn't try for the exit anymore. I don't think that's what she's gonna do because like it's such a big part of the pilot episode. It feels it would feel weird if they dropped it completely. But at the same time, like, you know, I'm, I'm willing to see what they do. It's cool. <laughs> I think there's a bit of a missed opportunity though, because Gangle is like perfectly designed to be a keychain. So like, ah, oh, come on, like it's perfect. Like all the little dangly things on a keychain. Like come on, you can make gangbusters with that. And like they still have a whole lot of merch, so clearly they've got their funding. They're doing a okay, but you know, one of those ow, one of those things. Ow. Oh my gosh, can one of you just perish, please? Thank you. One or all of you. That works. Ow. Okay, there we go. I'm always one of weird, worried one of these. Like that! Ugh! Worried one of these guys is gonna jump into my business like that, exactly. Ugh. Come on. Mm -hmm. Dude, just. Please! <laughs> ah! Okay. We made it. Perfect! Yeah, and it's interesting because a lot of Gooseworks' uh, other work kind of ends ambiguously. Like, in a lot of their other shorts, it's like, it kind of takes place in like, this is a bad world with like, bad things in it, but it doesn't really get fixed. Like, it's just like, oh, they are stuck there kind of thing. So the ending kind of makes sense for that. Like, it's typically the... Uh, characters in the shorts do not escape their bad situation at the end. It's like more a case of they had some hijinks along the way type deal. Oh wait, <laughs> I don't need to heal. What am I doing? Forget they have attacks. Ah! Eh. Mm. No, no, no! Ah, oh, man. I thought I was going to way. Well, we've kind of been at this for a little while, so I might take this little guy out for a bit of a break from the Fool's Trial. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We'll go down and then from there. Cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There we go. Whew. Other other animations that you've liked? Um, let me see. Let me think. Like in terms of, I think they have a good plot, or I think they're well animated. Ah. Hmm. I'm trying to think because I feel like I've honestly seen a lot of like pilot type things where people are pitching themselves, especially lately. Mm. 
trying to think. Are there any big ones? I guess, uh... I enjoyed, um... I enjoyed Has Been. Has Been Hotel. The, um... <laughs> I thought the pilot was a bit goofy. Like, I don't know. I remember I saw, like, some early clips from it, and then in the final version they added a bunch of, like, goofy, weird sound effects that I didn't get the point of. So that was a bit weird. But I thought the pilot, um was pretty good, and, I mean, other people did too, because now it's its own show. Let's... hmm. Yeah. Let's see, I'm trying to think. There's an animation I really like that's not... Oh, wait, actually, oh. Okay, something, an animation that I really like that's, like, way more horror-related than the other ones I've been talking about is called uh, Playground, and it's so cool. It's like an animated, like, really love, I don't want to call it Lovecraftian. And it is basically just a teaser. It's just like pitching the idea, but according to the description, the guy's gotten in contact with some people and they're looking to make it into a real thing. But yeah, it's just called Playground. It is excellently animated and it's just, yeah, it's it's freaky. <laughs> In a way, I guess, it's kind of my speed. But, uh, yeah, it is... It's difficult to explain what uh, it's about, because unlike a pilot, it really is just a teaser. It's like a bunch of clips of different things happening that, uh, yeah. Saw that and you recommended? Yeah, yeah. I like it quite a bit. If you're not really into, like, horror, it's probably not your speed, but it's animated very, very well. It's it's really cool, and I'm really happy that it's getting a full thing. Because, I don't know, when I saw it, I really enjoyed it. Because it kind of, at least in my eyes, it played around with the idea of, like... You know how kids, like, kids have rules about things. Where it's like... Oh no, you can't sit on the- oh gosh, I forgot to redo the compass, hang on. Uh, okay, we go down and to the right. Yeah. Like, kids have rules about things, where it's like, oh, the floor is lava, you can't touch it. Like, oh, you can't, like, sit in that chair, or this bad thing will happen. And the way that it read to me was like, what if all of those rules were, like, right? Like, they have all these weird like little kid rules about the world around them but they're in a scenario where if you don't follow those rules you die like that was kind of that was my personal interpretation of the uh of the teaser because it has a lot of like nightmarish body horror type imagery that um please come on go down yeah, that, you know, I, I really enjoy. It's like, ooh, creepy. But, <laughs> yeah, the way it was, because it's like, if I'm remembering one of the scenes right, it's kind of like they're trying to cross something, and, like, there's another... It's about, like, the main characters are just, like, two uh, kids, right? And, hang on, where's the... Uh, where am I? Yeah. Okay, so I'll just... Yeah. <laughs> oh, here it is. Awesome. Yeah, it's two kids, but they have another one with them. And, like, this monster comes out and it's just staring. And, like, the extra kid is staring back and their head explodes into confetti. And it's really freaky. <laughs> <laughs> but the way I interpreted that was like, oh, you're not supposed to look at it. Like, if it's staring at you, you can't stare back or else, like, your head will explode into confetti. Like, that's a very kid thing to say. It's like, oh, don't look at it or else, like, this weird thing will happen. But in this case, it's actually true. Like, like hey, if you do this, this awful thing will happen. Like, ah... That's the way I personally interpreted it, but like I said, it's very short, and a lot of short, kind of unrelated clips, just kind of pitching the aesthetics. 
So in the actual show, if it if the description reads true and we do get an actual show out of this, I'd be excited to see what actual story comes out of it. Because I think it could be pretty cool. Alright, we got five left because I my life depends on me having the compass on me. Um Yeah, okay, so we will do Yeah, we will do uh where is it? Yeah, we'll do this guy. And then we can do stalwart shell and sharp shadow. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, dude! Okay, I'm gonna go way, way out. I think it's Distant Village that I want to go. Because we're just taking a break from the uh, Fool's Trial. And I didn't really end up exploring this area all that much because I was kind of confused about what exactly happened. So I kind of just left. And also I left because... I got real excited because it was like, oh my gosh, you found your, like, nest? Of course I want to see. Yeah, let's see. Sounds interesting. I'll have to watch it later. Yeah, go for it. I think it's uh, really cool. And like I said, not a lot of story because it's, like, two minutes long. And it's a bunch of fragmented, like, unrelated scenes basically pitching the aesthetic and vibes more than, like, the story itself. So I'm very curious to see what is uh, planned for that. Yeah, but we're going to explore here for just a little while. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, I forget exactly. Yeah, this place is big. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like, if I remember right, there's nothing over here. Yeah, you just, you just fall. Ah! Oh, nice. Thanks, bud, but uh, I'm full. Okay, let's see, where are we? Yeah, we're not to the bottom yet. Yeah, and see, you got all this icky water. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's really quiet here, which... Like, you don't really... Yeah, in most of the other game, there is music of some sort. So, when it gets really quiet, it's just like, oh, something, something's going on. You know what I mean? Hmm. Yeah. And now we have to go through and go back up again. Yeah, I forget what all is in here. Are there other webcomics you're into? I have not dedicated a ton of my time to them. There's a while ago, there was like the start of a webcomic by uh, this DeviantArt person, uh, Night Riser. I really, really love their art, but I don't know if they ever actually like continued or finished it. It was like it had cheetahs and lions and all that fun stuff. <laughs> um, in terms of a webcomic that is technically still active, hasn't been updated in a while because the uh, the artist is... Um, yeah, okay, so it's called uh, Ghosts of the Future. It's a Sonic fan comic, and the artist is an actual artist for the IDW Sonic comics. So they are very busy with their actual job, but they also run this webcomic. Just, you know, just a fan webcomic for Sonic, and they also happen to officially draw Sonic for a living, no big deal. But yeah, it's really cool. Like, and it's also really cool because they've been doing it for so long that at the very beginning, you can see where they started and where they've gotten to with their art. It's been, it's like really cool to see all the different styles they go through. True diehards, exactly. <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> They were like, oh, yeah, I'll, I like drawing Sonic. And then IDW was like, hey, want a job? <laughs> well, not IDW specifically. Like the Sonic overlords, I guess. <laughs> yeah, see, this section has music. Very creepy music. It's creepy. Okay. What is over here, actually? 
Actually, I think there's a bunch of areas I didn't explore because there were these really scary enemies in them, so... Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, gosh, I forgot about this. There's some weirdo at the end of this hallway. Um, would Chris Chan approve? I... I don't know. I don't know if I'm I'm a hardcore Sonic fan enough to know who Chris Chan is. Oh gosh. Yeah, this thing. Okay. So not as creepy as I thought. Gah, get out! Get out! Get out! Happy teeth, that is so bizarre. Get out of here. Yeah, I have no idea. I I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Sorry, not talking to you in chat. I'm talking about the thing that was just sticking out of the wall. Anyway. <laughs> I feel like there's a way to get past that somehow. But I have no idea how. So we're just gonna move on. Ah! Saved by the bell. Okay. Oh, right. These guys. Ouch. There we go. Okay, that's not a breakable wall sound. Alright, I will keep it that way. I will not look into the... whomever. <laughs> now, these guys sound like freaky cats. Yeah, this area... I will tell you, like... If you enter from this area over here... This area is a lot scarier to navigate if you don't have a lantern. <laughs> Because the first time I entered this area, I didn't realize you could get a lantern. It was so dark. It was terrifying. It was awful. Don't do what I did. Get the lantern as soon as possible. <laughs> uh. Oh, right. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Ah! Uh. Okay. Yeah, see, this is, this area is quite dangerous. Can't say I like it much. Hey! Die! Please. And I still don't have a solid strategy for how to get past those things. Like you just saw, the face opens up and they roar at you. I'm not sure how to get past those guys. Like, I don't have a solid strategy because... Once they open up their faces and you can actually hit them, they just, like, they hit really hard. Like, they take two per hit. Fun fact, Slam Llama can't see it. Exactly! Well, that's how the game works! Like, you just can't see. It's like, oh, yeah. And, like, the developers thought about it, because there are, like, occasionally glowy plants. So you can technically navigate without one. So it didn't occur to me that maybe there was a way that I could make it easier for myself. Like, why would, why would anyone give me a way to do things more easily? Why would anyone do that? I do that a lot with games where I'm like, oh, this really, this really hard thing? I have to do the really hard thing? Oh gosh, I guess there's no choice. I guess I'll do it the really hard way. <laughs> Uh, speed run without light. That's how I figured out that I was doing it, like, not the way the developers intended. Because there was this one section where I was like, I just can't get through. Like, maybe, like, I need to, like, find a tutorial for where to jump. And I Google it, and it's like, how to get through this section without the lantern. And I was like, wait a minute. That implies that the normal way to do it is to use a lantern. Have I been doing this the hard way the whole time? And the answer was yes. I had been doing it the hard way. Ow. Oh, come on. Have I been up here before? Oh, yeah. I've, I've been here. But I feel like there's still areas I haven't been. Because that's... Hmm. Okay, we're good. Okay, this doesn't break. Yeah, this is... Hmm. 
Yeah, it's like the map implies that there's like more to this area, but I don't know exactly what. Hmm. Yeah, have I? I've been here before, I think. Yeah, see, I'm like below the floor or something. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure I explored this very thoroughly. No, but I, I have been here. Maybe? Hmm. Yeah, okay. Huh. Interesting. Let's see. Well, well, let's, uh, I guess there are multiple ways to get around and about. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> okay, yeah, and I'm pretty sure there's a bed of spikes below this. Yep, okay. There we go. Yeah, and out here is the... <laughs> I almost <laughs> bonked my face and died. Okay. Yeah, because, like, there's a hole here. I forget. Why is there a hole here? Hmm. Yeah, because you just kind of fall down. Seems strange. Yeah. And I've already done what I think I was supposed to do in here, but I guess we'll uh, look in here again. See if there's anything I missed. Oh! Oh, I'm already at the entrance. Well... <laughs> no, but wait, I'm not, because there's this one also. Are there multiple places to go in? Yeah, there are multiple places. Oh. Okay, cuz I went in I went in this one. Interesting. Okay, so there's this big boy which I'll enter. I believe I've already done. Yeah. And they had a fake bench over here that I sat on and they Yeah. Uh-huh. Here we go. Hmm. Yes. Here. Oh! Uh, whoa. Wait. Have I been in here? Yeah. Oh, right. There's no map of this area. I just have to... Okay. Okay, guys. Are, uh, are you ready to see me stumble around for a while? <laughs> yeah, because we're just, uh, we're just gonna poke around this spooky old temple for a while. This is a fantastic idea. Nothing will go wrong. Dude. Oh, I was pressing the shift key instead of the C. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I... Yeah, when I left the temple for the first time, I probably came this way. So I've probably been here. But, um... Let's look around anyway. Yeah. This looks like it should be breakable. Like... I don't know what it is, but it looks like it should break. But it's not making the breaky noise, so I'll just trust. No breaking noise. Yeah, there's a wall, like, in another part of the map where, like, if I land right next to it and immediately hit it, it makes the breaking noise. But then you, like, can't break it. Like, it makes the breaking noise, but then if you continue to hit it, it stops making the noise. So, uh... Really not sure what the deal with that is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. We're just gonna explore a bit. Yeah, I think maybe there were coins in here or something earlier. Nope, nothing. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, right. Yeah, there's a thing. Right. Do I know what this thing is? I don't know if I do. Something. I did something. Did I do something with this? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, they do not want you on top of it, though. That's for sure. Ah! Yeah. Odd. I don't think this did anything my first time here, which is very strange. Because it looks rather important. Okay, here's a here's a strategy. Okay, cool. Oh what? No thoughts? No thoughts for me? Dang. Well, oh well. Yeah, okay, so there's that area. And we got that's not breakable. Ah! <laughs> Oops. Jump over here. Nope. Yeah, I'm kind of just double checking right now because I've been in here before. Like, I did the thing that they wanted me to do, but they, they in quotations, might be the bad people who want to perpetuate a bad cycle. So I'm I'm just double checking. Oh, ha, you uh you sleepy buddy? Sorry, I'll come back in a minute. My bad. No breakable walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this is where the the lady used to be. Er, yeah, no, they said, like, beast in her cave or whatever. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like... Hmm. Yeah, and now she's just gone, which is, like, odd. Opinions on has-been? I... I will say my opinions on has been are mixed. I have mixed opinions about that as a show. Like, I enjoy it because it's an independent piece of animation that is doing really, really well, and that just makes me happy. But as like a show, I like, I have like one episode I really like, and it's the one with Fizzarali in it and stuff like a lot of its humor I just I don't find that funny and like if you don't find it funny then you're in it for like the shipping stuff like the original concept is like oh demons go to the human world to be hitmen for demons and it really did not stick with that concept you know what I mean like it's far and away kind of abandoned that idea so I don't know, like, I think I'm glad it's successful. I'm glad it's doing well. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah, I was talking about Hell of a Boss, my bad. Cause that's the one I've actually been seen, I've actually seen more of. The, um, the fully animated, like, has been with the help of A24, I have not seen fully. I've seen some clips out of context. I've seen, um, some, uh, yeah, sorry, I mixed them up, yeah. I've seen, uh, like, some of the songs. I've heard some of the songs. And I enjoy it. I think it's very well made and very well animated. But I can't comment fully because I have not seen the full show. Dude. Yeah, see, this looks super breakable, but it's just not. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I guess I'll... Dude, I- ow. <laughs> yeah, I will, uh, yeah. The first part of your question, that was my opinion to, uh, Hell of a Boss. Like, I was down for it, like, 
sometimes, but the, the humor is just really not my thing a lot of the time. And occasionally, like, it will, uh, like, venture into an area where I'm like, oh, this is really interesting, but a lot of it is just stuff I'm not interested in at all. So it's, it's a mixed bag, you know? Mixed bag for me, personally. And it's not a... I used to watch every new episode when it came out, but now I really don't. Because, you know, just kind of lost my interest. So, like, I don't dislike it. Like, I bought a mug from them. I still use that mug. It's just... Mm, not something I'm interested in continuing to keep an eye on. Like I said, I'm glad it's still doing well, independent animation, but I think writing-wise, they... this is very much a learning show, I'll put it that way. <laughs> they're, uh, they're learning quite a lot about the process of writing and stuff like that. So, yeah, that is my unprofessional opinion. I, I forgot, you can't do that. That's my unprofessional opinion about uh, Hell of a Boss and uh, Has Been. There we go. There we go. Oh, right. A little guy used to be here. Mm-hmm. 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 Nothing there. We'll go like this. Come on, come up again. Here, man. Dude, come on. There we go. Nothing. Okay, yep, can't break that. Can't break that. I think, like I said, I think I've explored this, but I don't remember. <laughs> I don't have a map for this area, so I have no idea what I've explored. <laughs> mm. <sighs> mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I don't think I'll ever need a hydration reminder as a streamer, because I just hydrate constantly. No reminder required. <laughs> Ow. Get out of heat. Ah! Okay, here we go. Compared to has been, I like Hello Boss a lot more. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I... Like, they're two very different shows, so I can't really, like, say, like, one is better than the other, especially since I've only really seen one of them and not much of the recent stuff. But, yeah. I think they're both well animated, and like I said, like, they started out as independent animation, so I'm just generally really happy they're doing well. Ah. There we go. Okay. Ah! Oh no! Oh gosh. Ow. <laughs> mm hmm. There we go. Yeah, anything I missed? Oh, whoop. Oh, right, I got an eggy thing over here. I don't know what the purpose of the eggs is, but I sure do got them. Nothing. Okay. Whoop. There we go. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. I keep wanting to open the map, but there's... <laughs> that's not gonna help me! There's no map here. Ow. Well, isn't that interesting? Oh, what's over here, actually? Have I explored here? Ah, 
I have not. Oh, whoops. Well, that's not what I meant to do, but I guess it helps. there yet. There we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, that's not breakable, even though it looks like this, even though it looks like it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Smack it. And smack it. Oh, there's a lot of webs over here. Interesting. Okay, I really, I, I guess I really haven't explored this. Okay, we'll, we'll go through here, I guess. Yeah, this is new. I actually killed that one by hitting it. That's nice. Yeah, this this area does not feel familiar to me. Then again, I'm I don't have the mess, best memory. Ugh, any artists are just people who inspire you. Uh like I said, the one who does the Sonic comic, uh Evan Stanley, they inspire me a lot. They do really good work. Uh, I really like Night Riser. They do really good animations. Uh, another one that does good animations is... What's their name? I think it's like, um... What? Is it? Is it? It's not Leica. Because Leica is the stop motion company, and that's not what I'm thinking of. Hang on, I gotta look this up really fast. Like, uh... Animation. No, that's not... That ain't it. Hang on, sorry. This is occupying my mind. Uh, go far, kid, cat. Animation. It's Luxi. It's spelled like L-O-U-I-X-I-E. That's, that's another one I like. Um, yeah, and the Lackadaisy Artist is also really, really good. They do really, really pretty stuff. Do I see? I do not. Interesting. Sounds like some funny breathing noises. Cool. Okay, the floor isn't being goofy with it, so... Oh, no, wait. Yeah, this is where I woke up. I remember now. I was, like, hanging up here. Um, Aaron Blaze is someone who did a lot of animation for Brother Bear and such. He's really cool. <laughs> yeah, like, a, a lot of different things inspire me for a lot of different reasons. But... Yeah, what about you? You got any artists in particular you're inspired by? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm remembering now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and down here was a something or other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, no, I've I've been here. I've been here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Scared. 
Ah, that one moved. That usually means they- yep, okay. Oh, they're coming back to life. Oh, I hate that. <sighs> yeah, a uh, fun fact, if you hit something with a dream sword and it moves, that probably means it's going to come back to life in like a horrific monstrosity. Just like, just some advice. Okay. Evoke go to six is a big inspiration. Work is just very emotional. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like you, you asked me for inspirations and like, I have quite a few, but, and like, I can name a couple of them, but I just have so many that it feels like I'm leaving people out, even though I'm not really. That's it's very interesting. I think I may have explored all this area has to offer me. Let's, uh, let's tootle around some more, but I, I yeah, I think this is about done here can't type them all down hard with one hand. Oh yeah, no problem. Yeah, just trying to engage in conversation. No big. Do do do. Yeah, we already went here. Here we go. Going up this way. Yeah, I think I've mostly... Oh yeah, yeah. I'm... Yeah. Yeah! Here we go. Yeah, I've... Actually, did I? I went up this way, right? Let's make sure. Oh yeah, I definitely went up this way. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> and down. Trying to figure out how to get out of here. Oh, that's how. Nice. Now let's go down to the other entrance, because I haven't gone in there, I don't think. Very interesting. Like most anime artists, Miyazaki. Nice. Yeah, it's interesting. Like, a lot of artists I know had, like, an anime phase, but I never really did. I just, uh, oh, okay, I definitely haven't been here. Very interesting. We might get some story, maybe some spooks. They lied, ooh. <laughs> Man, I love it when people in power lie. That's a joke, I don't. I just love it in stories. Okay, here we go. Fascinating. Not friends. Oh, this is fascinating. Oh, what secrets are in here? Is this all that's in here? Please don't say this is all that's in here. Not friends. Really? No. Aw, oh, man. Huh. Well, I guess this is a world building something or other, but I was kind of hoping for another area to explore. Can I go through? No. Well, that's okay, I guess. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I never really had an anime phase. Like, I started watching a couple of them, but I never, like, finished any, really. Which is perhaps blasphemous to say. Like, I started, uh, um, yeah, I started, uh, watching, uh, Erased, that's what it's called, and it was, like, very, oh, this isn't, <laughs> this isn't a, uh, a hole, yeah, I started watching, uh, Erased, which is very twisty, this, like, one dude gets sent back in time, and he's, like, trying to solve a murder, and, like, now that he's older, he recognizes the signs of, like, abuse in his classmate, who also dies? Like, I don't... Yeah, like, I... 
I think I was interested for like the few episodes I watched, but then I stopped watching and I didn't really start again. So when it comes to anime, I am not very knowledgeable. There we go. Fascinating. Okay. Let's let's go in here. Back to the bench. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not a bench, I guess. Let's see. Let's see what uh is there are there any areas we want to explore? Let's see. I've been there a while. In my opinion, a race isn't worth it. Yeah, like it touches on some very, like, very heavy topics, and I was, like, in my teens when I was trying it out, and I was, like, kind of intrigued, but not enough to really go for it fully, so, yeah, I don't, I don't feel like I suffered because I never finished it, you know what I mean? Hmm. Let's see. Are there any places I want to go? I mean, there are other, like, cause see, I've been, <laughs> I've been spending a lot of my time trying to defeat the, uh, trying to complete the, um, Coliseum of Fools, but there are a bunch of other fights around the map that I haven't completed that I could do, but, uh, you know, let's see. Hmm. Well, never a bad idea to visit Dirt Mouth. Let's uh let's go visit up top. Thank you. Here we go. Yeah, and uh My Hero Academia is another one that I have I got pretty far with that one, honestly. But uh yeah, I like caught up and then I never like started watching again when new episodes started releasing because I got kind of busy and all that stuff so oh. that's not you know. you know what just for fun we're gonna try and beat up the dream version of that guy <laughs> just for fun I don't know if it'll go very well but we'll, uh, we'll try it you know just for fun <laughs> okay let's see Let's do, uh, huh. yeah, grub song, yeah, yeah, we will do dark defender, spore shroom, okay, any other oneers, two, four, six, and then there's a one, yeah, there's like one other one, uh, ha, here it is, steady, steady body. And then from there, we will do Stalwart Shell, Sharp Shadow, and Long Nail. Alright, let's, uh, let's see how it goes. The last time I tried this, he, he, he absolutely just smacked me around, which was not great for my pride. But, uh, you know, he might do it again. We'll, uh, we'll see. Let's, uh, let's go in. Descend down we go yeah like this is a uh, very interesting that we've got here is good I still cried <laughs> oh yeah it's a uh, very good yeah yeah like like I said I really enjoyed my hero academia like it wasn't because I didn't like it it's just one of those things where I stopped my momentum in watching it and never start it again. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, this scene. <laughs> and then he comes and absolutely wrecks me. Yeah, see, like... he got a lot going on. Yeah, those are very tall. I'm pretty sure this is like actually hard, but or I could just be bad. Jury's still out. Ooh. 
Yeah, but it like... I'm fine. Like, it doesn't really do anything. Except it does, because it saves every time, so... Yeah. Yeah, probably not gonna beat that anytime soon. I don't feel skilled enough. Actually, no, I gave it one try. I gotta give it at least three. Three tries, we'll see how it goes. Down we go. There we go. So rude, my guy. Huh. You know, I got a lot farther with that. I wonder how strong this dude is. In terms of entertainment, what's your favorite genre? Um. Gosh, I have such a hard time with these questions because I feel like anything I say is immediately contradicted by like the next thing I decide to talk about. I guess, uh, I guess adventure fantasy I'm pretty partial to. Uh, also horror, although like I feel like horror and fantasy are a lot closer in genre than a lot of people think, so kind of the same there. But yeah, I'd say adventure, fantasy type thing. Never been much for romance in stories. Like, it's fine. It's just, like, not my fave, you know? See, I need to actually avoid his attacks occasionally. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> hmm. And yeah, I have a I have a bias toward animated things, but yeah, like I feel like as I yeah, well, like. I'm fine with romance in stories, but a lot of the time, romance-focused stories kind of lose me. And so, I don't know if that's just because I haven't found the right ones for me, but yeah. Yeah, and I feel like as I keep just, like, adding to this <laughs> answer, it's gonna be so strange, but yeah, I like it. I feel like I like a lot of different things. It's those waves that get me, really. Ow. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Although there was one romance I watched that I thought was- I thought it was really cute. It's called, um, The Night Before Christmas. Night is spelled with, uh, like, like night, like night, like Arthur's Nights. It's- it's kind of a ridiculous premise, but it's honestly really cute. It's, uh, it's on Netflix, I think, and it's, like, not a very expensive movie. Like, it's not that great, but it's really sweet and cute, and I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wasn't planning to spend that long here, but like, if I can figure out his pattern, this guy's kind of a chump. I say that as I've been totally unable to, to, to lie. Oh yeah, absolutely. Exactly what I'm talking about. 
Ow. Those little guys get me. You know what? It's kind of nasty, but I kind of want to try something. Like, because I have a bunch of charms that just, like, release, like, weird things. Like, I got the leech one and the... Like, here, I'll show you. Like, I've got this one. Transforms the Vengeful Spirit spell. Okay, yeah, that's not exactly what I thought. But this one is, like, drains the soul of its bearer and uses it to birth hatchlings. Sacrifice and... Like... I don't know what this is, and it's really low-key weird, but, like, <laughs> I kind of want to try it. Like, it's... <laughs> I don't know what to think of it, but, you know, like, if we're trying things out, might as well try whatever th on earth this thing is. <laughs> uh, okay. I wonder, like, is it constantly or just in fights that it will drain soul? Because that's interesting. Okay, and let's descend and let's uh, let, let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens. And this isn't like the normal fight, but um, you know, let's just let's just see. <laughs> Why not? Oh my gosh, he does that so many times. Interesting. I didn't actually see how much of my uh, thing it would drain when it made one of those. That's fancy. Romance the subplot. Although, like, yeah, like my dad, like, I do have some films where the romance is focused that I enjoy. Like, my dad, my dad's a very romantic guy, and he's shown me Romancing the Stone, which is pretty nice. And also, um, yeah, he showed me Romancing the Stone, and uh, also The Cutting Edge, which is another one. The Cutting Edge is about, like, a figure skater who's really hard to work with and no one likes her, and so they get, like, this disgraced hockey player to learn figure skating, and they fall in love eventually. It's very... 80s in the fact that like their dynamic is they kind of argue a lot but there is they have legitimately sweet moments in there and I like the film's ending because this whole time they've been building to this competition and then they like do really well and it's emblematic of like now they understand each other and their relationship and it doesn't show if they won it doesn't show if they won because that's not the point like the point is their relationship and how they've grown, and I, I really enjoy that, you know? Dude, stop jumping. Face me. Ouch. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ugh, like, maybe... Maybe I've been too full of myself, but I feel like I can beat this guy. Like... I was really, I was really challenged by it, but I feel like I could do it. Like, I feel like 
Ah, what's one more? <laughs> let's do it. Let's, uh, let's try it. Let's see how it goes for us. And... Man, I was facing the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, eventually I could beat this guy. But maybe not this time. We spent a bit of time here, so I will make an exit. <laughs> Oh wait, <laughs> that's not what I meant to do. Okay. Okay, grab this again. And we will go like this as well. And like that stalwart shell. Oh, wait, no. There's room for one more. Um, oh, I can't believe I forgot this one. I am sorry. All right. Sorry, Grub Song. Forgot all about you. All right. Yeah, and then we can go like this, and like this, and like this, and then from there, what else we got? No, there's there's one more. I'm missing one. Ah, steady body. There it is. And then sharp shadow and stalwart is the ones that I prefer. There we go. And where do we want to go? We could try again. We could try to do the. Uh, yeah, we could try to do the Coliseum of Fools again. We've had a little bit of a break. Where else? Is there anywhere else we want to go? Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, let's go back to the Coliseum of Fools, I think. And that'll be... Which one is that? The Whispering Grounds, I believe that's where that is. Yes! Yes, yes. Very good. I feel like there should be something in that space. Sorry, just looking at the Watcher's Spire. Anyway, uh, call some of fools, and we'll go to... Uh, King Station, I think. Here we go. And down. Mm -hmm. Thank you. King Station. Thank you very much. Alright, awesome. And we'll save here just in case. We'll be saving in the arena as well. But we also need to switch around our charms for the arena, so... Mm -hmm. Where do we go from here? Where am I? Ah, yes. Up. We go up. Mm -hmm. And up.
explored this fully? I think I have. Yeah. Yeah, I went up into that little section. Took me a while. I remember. Oh! No! Stop! Dang it. Ugh. I finished its animation. Let me down. Peace. Whoopsie. <laughs> Alright. Let me out! Let me go! Alright. Here we go. Mm -hmm. And we climb up so high that the music can't reach us. And almost there. Haha! -ha. Oh, I almost thought I didn't make it. That was scary. Okay. Maybe that's why. <laughs> they don't want people shooting their way in. Okay. And let's go down and save. Perfect! Hello everybody! It's just me, back again. Don't mind me. Oh right, yes, I also need to change my charms. Can't forget that. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Alright. Let's move this around, I think. Yeah, I don't need to remove all of them. I just like them being in a specific order, so I do it every time. Okay. Mm -hmm. First we'll do... Hmm. Okay, if I wasn't... If I didn't have this, is there something better? I don't think there is. Hmm. Yeah, because this is long nail. Much more rapidly. Heavy blow. Mm hmm Okay, let's uh, let's go over the ones I know. I for sure want. We've got this guy. Paired with this guy. Great pairing. Love that for me. Mm. Then what have we got? Yeah. Any other... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hatcher. Mm-hmm. Faster. I don't necessarily... I... I don't think I need to be faster. I've got... This... Yeah, and this... Yeah, this one isn't really great for me. Even though it's cool. Uh, da, 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 da. Nope. All right. So we will stick with this one. For a song. Two, four, six, and there's one. I feel like I'm forgetting one. Hmm. All oh, right. This guy. Very important. All right. Then we do sharp shadow. Long nail and stalwart shell. That's our Ugh, setup. All right, and we're locked in. Let's wake up and let's go. <laughs> Here we go. Jump, jump. Hey, there we go. <laughs> the uh, be able to slash faster one is really cool, but it takes three. So I think we'll do just fine with what we've got. Let's take a drink of water. All right, back in the fight. Woo! Zooming into the fight. Perfect. Woo! Hello. Hey guys. Good to see you too. Ow. Wow. You're so mean to me. Dude. Stop it. Huh? <laughs> 
<laughs> Just one little guy. Don't worry about it. There we go. Ow. You die. Thank you. There we go. Dude, please just thank you. Those guys take a surprising amount of numbers. Surprising amount of numbers. Wow, great. A surprising amount of hits to take down. Yeah, there's two over there. Watch out for this. I even knew it was coming and it still got me. Eh. There we go. There we go. Ah! Oh. Well, gives me an opportunity to heal, I guess. Are you gonna come over here? Please? Oh, apparently not. Okay. Oh, come on, just... I thought that was the last one. And he blows up. Yay! Thank you, thank you very much. Ugh. Doing my best, that's for sure. There we go. Let's stay out of the way of these fellas. They got some cleanup to do, and I wouldn't want to disturb them in their work. Okay, back to spikies. Get up all in my space. Ah, just like that. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Dude, stop. Dude, please just. Thank you. All right. Okay, pretty good. Die, please. Ah. Okay, heal time. Time to heal forever. Okay, where are you? Please. Okay. 
Stay away from these guys so I have an opportunity to heal. It's fine. Get out of the way. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. The foolishness of these people. Oh. Ouch. Ow. Ah. beat this uh but it's just like how many how many are there because i know there are even more after this but also at the same time like i'm not sure what else to do if that makes sense like i don't i don't know what to do except fight except fight that's my purpose i just fight okay mm -hmm. All right. All right. Let's go again. Um, maybe once I fill up, I'll take a bathroom break. I'll just uh, fill up and save, and then maybe we can do that. Not a bad idea. I was thinking about it too. <laughs> All right. Walk over here. That's not the bench. This is the bench. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I that's that's a good idea. Oh, now well, uh, I am very sorry to hear that, but uh, yeah, I am going to disappear for a moment, use the restroom, refill my water, all that good stuff, and I will be uh, right back. See you guys in just a minute. All right.
Alright. I am back. Here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, good reminder for us to go to sleep. Yeah, but one second. I think I goofed up my stream overlay. So let me just fix something really fast. Yep, there it is. One second. This is my old one. I need to get rid of this. One second. Where is it? Where is it? Um, no, seriously, where is it? Where is this? Sorry, folks, technical difficulties. I need to... Here it is. Okay, let's... I'm no longer in need of your services. Thank you. Okay, good. We back. <laughs> that was my old be right back screen, but it was tied to the same key bind. So, all right, we back, we back, we back. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Do that. Yeah. We'll say it gets much hotter in this room after door has been closed for a while, but I opened it, aired it out a little bit, so I think we're okay. All right, do I have everything I want? Yes. All right. Actually, put some ice in my water, so I'm gonna take a sip. <sighs> okay. Also, I think I'm coming to the realization that like finishing this playthrough of Hollow Knight might take me a while because most of the things I have left are like difficult fights that are going to take me a lot of tries to do which like I'm not opposed to it's just like hmm I'm gonna have to get really good at talking about random things if I plan to stream it <laughs> you know what I'm saying all right let's get back into it there we go hmm that was rude. Oh my gosh, dude. Ah! Time to look up talking points exactly. <laughs> it's like, ah! Uh, like. I managed to be pretty good at talking about Mythbusters for a while. That's what I used to do. I used to do that when I used to stream on the map. Oh, nice! Yeah. Because, uh, I feel like if I get going, I can really talk about stuff. But, uh, it takes me a bit to get there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, he's coming back. Yes. Okay, jump up. Heal once. Okay, heal some more. Cool. Ow. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Now we have the opportunity to heal! Yeah, I didn't know you used to stream. That's pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, I am readjusting to the streaming life. It's been a long time. And when I did it before, I was not very consistent. So, hoping that this time I can be a little more committed. You know what I'm saying? All right, up the wall. <laughs> and spikes it here. Well, 
I got him. Took a couple times, but I got him. I don't know if this is the best spot, honestly. Because I feel like I get thwapped a couple of times per round. Although... Though I'm not doing so hot this time, either. Alright. There we go. And one more. Alright, perfect. These guys. Aha! Thought he could jump me. Not today, buddy. I don't know what I'm trying to do with this strategy. I just I just don't want to get hit by the needle boys. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to heal. What am I doing? I'm so used to having to heal all the time <laughs> that when I don't, it's like a shock to me. Awesome! Woo! Guys, get here. Alright, where are you? Ow, wow. Stop hitting me! You guys are the worst. Okay. Heal time. Heal forever time. Woo! Cool. Okay. Boom. And I think. Is there a third or was that. Nope. There's the third. Boop! Alright, buddy, where are ya? You're making me waste my shots, pal. Heal time! Come on! Come on! Come on! Dude, come on! Uh... Yeah, no worries. Take all the time you need. 
Man, that was pretty close. Dang it. Okay. Yeah, it's. I press the move key like before the damage thing is done damaging, so I don't actually move when I think I do sometimes. But that was pretty good. That was a pretty good run, I would say. My channel's gonna look so funky. <laughs> oh, Oops, fingers crossed for the next run. Thank you. Yeah, me too. I am getting closer, slowly but surely. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, take a drink of water, everyone, if you haven't already. Oh wait, one second. Hee <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Yeah, cause like, it feels close. Like, you go through a lot of guys, you know? <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Onwards we go. Take a second, I'm gonna stretch my hands. Okay. There we go. Let's go! Mm -hmm. Here we are. Sign the waiver. In we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Welcome to chat, by the way, Wilbar. Happy to have you. Mm -hmm. Dang it. I always do this. I overestimate. <laughs> wow, that was fun. Okay. Oh man, I almost did that cleanly. Ah, I don't like these aphid guys. Die, please. Thought I hit you once already. Oh no! I thought I had a chance to heal! No! <laughs> Dang it. That was not as good as the last one, I will admit. Not quite so good. I let myself take a few too many hits. Well, I say I let myself. It, it was more like I just did not dodge to the best of my ability. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go grab our soul. <laughs> mm -hmm. We enter. There we go. Hmm. Philippon soul, the pond over here. <laughs> I wish they'd splash me back. Then it'd be really fun. <laughs> okay. Off we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. Are you guys like, are you guys VOD watchers for streams, or do you like the live experience more? Because I know that sometimes I will watch VODs for like, specific streamers that I really enjoy, but most of the time, like, it's not usually what I go for. Super long videos are nice for me if I'm drawing or something. But for some reason, VODs just don't hit the same sweet spot a lot of the time. Maybe it's because they're like this, where they're just on the grind. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I got a little cocky last time. Let's not do that this time. 
try to take a few less foolish hits here. Ah oh, man, I swung too soon. There we go. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> there we go. Now we have a minute to heal. <laughs> because I just took way more hits than I should have. Heal again. Okay. Die. Thank you. This round is still, like, I get hit so many times. It's so dumb. Give you that. Ah ha ha, I jumped into that one. It doesn't count. Okay. There we go. There we go. And the one. Normally watch VODs. I like just having a long video in the background. Oh yeah, me too. I usually go for video essays, but VODs can be fun as well. A lot of the streamers I used to watch, though, were on Twitch, and Twitch doesn't have a very good system for keeping the VODs, because they just... They vanish! They vanish after a while. Ow. Yeah, so... Yeah, that's partially why I switched to YouTube. I used to stream on Twitch, and then I kind of stopped, and... When I thought of starting up again, I was choosing, and... I just like that the VODs don't disappear on YouTube, so if people want to watch them, they can, you know? There we go. On to the spikes. Yeah, I've taken to trying to hit them out of the air. Ow. Otherwise, they do that nonsense on me. Ow. Dude, just hit it. Thank you. There we go. Oh. Come on. Dude. Thank you. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what it is. Like, the first couple of times I got to this section, I avoided them really easily. But for some reason, like, I don't know if I just got lucky, but now I feel like I get hit at least, like, a couple of times when I do this. I don't know what changed. Maybe I got lucky, or maybe I started overthinking it. Yeah. There we go. And three more. Hey! That was rude. Stop it. Awesome! You know, this is a nice break from the video I'm writing because the Ballora video was almost an hour and that was 14 pages in the script. Uh, but uh, this one is almost at 14 and I'm uh, nowhere near done so uh, we're in for a chunky one. Ow! Ah, oh! Die, please. Please, just... Okay! Ah, man. Ah. Yeah, what I miss? Uh, I just died again. <laughs> uh, you missed that. <laughs> yeah, but otherwise, uh, not much. I'm glad you're looking forward to it, Lazar. Yeah. I have a lot of fun making videos. But this one is 
It's gonna be a real chunky. Real long one. <laughs> Hopefully good for putting on in the background. Wow. There we go. <laughs> yeah, and uh, welcome back, by the way. <laughs> oh, crack the neck. Goodness. Glad you guys can't hear that. Kind of disturbing. Mm -hmm. There we go. Let's go again. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Oh, strange. I haven't died in that part in a while. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh wait, I have to walk further. There we go. <laughs> Hey! No tag team. Stop it. Oh man, he's pointed the wrong way. Jumped instead of healing. That's fine. <laughs> come on, buddy. Come on. You're making this harder for both of us. Just come closer, please. Please? Come on. Aha! There we go. Mm -hmm. Might have to go on this side, but that's okay. All right, stay out of the way of this barrage. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Oh man. thing is, I keep trying to rush through these guys, but I think that's what's tripping me up. So I keep running into them when they're probably really easy to touch. Get out of my space, bro. Ah! Don't. Don't. There we go. Cool. There we go. And bam. 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 Hey, don't you steer in the air. 
Once you get into an arc, you aren't allowed to move. I've just decided. Hello, I was. Oh dear. Oof. That's scary. There we go. Ouch. <laughs> ah. Oh no. No! Okay. Hang on. Curious how you're going to do. Uh, sorry. I want to read that. Hang on. Curious how are you going to do an... The thing is covering it. The heart is covering it. I cannot see. One second. Sorry, I'm trying to read what you said. Do an art stream. Um, I am not sure. It could be fun to do, for sure. But my current setup with my mic doesn't go super well with my tablet. Because my tablet's pretty big, and my desk is pretty small. Not gonna lie. So, I'm a little bit... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am not well versed in using my space. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, to answer your question, um, it could be fun, but I talk even less doing art than I do games. So yeah, it could be fun, maybe at some point, but probably not for a little while, just because I tend to get pretty focused and I just wouldn't talk. <laughs> All right. Here we go. You know, I've been going at this third trial of the Fool for a while and I'm trying to figure out if I want to keep doing that or if I want to focus on one of the uh, one of the other fights that I still have to do because I don't know what this does for me like in terms of story stuff. Yeah, so I'm here, I've got that one. I have a dream gate over here for this, like, mantis trader dude, because I need to finish that fight. And I think there's, like, one or two more. Yeah, yeah, down here I need to, like, beat the dream self of my infected cousin or something. So that, uh, hmm. Okay, okay. I'm... yeah. We'll go for maybe a couple more tries on Trial of the Fool, and if I'm still feeling it, I'll go there, but then if I'm not feeling it, I might try and go beat up someone else in the world. Because <laughs> there are plenty of fights to grind, let me tell you. Alright, sign the waiver. In we go. Woo! Mm hmm There we go. Hey! Cool! There 
There we go. Let's heal over here a little bit. I don't know why. I feel like I'm taking more hits at the beginning of this fight than I used to. Like, I used to do pretty well until the, like, flying round that's coming up. But for some reason I keep, like, taking a weird amount of hits the first little while. Okay. Boop. Boop. Let me up. One. Heal. Okay. Ow. I almost avoided that. There we go. So mean. Stop it. Okay, there we go. Heal a little bit. That was so rude. Get away from me. Alright. There we go. One more. Try not to get hit as we're going across. Boop. 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 Yeah. You guys got any movies you're looking forward to? A while ago I saw a trailer for um, the, uh, the, like, what's it called? A Quiet Place the First Day or something like that. That one looked pretty good. Although, I should probably watch the sequel before I get excited for the third in that particular franchise. Yeah. I think my family went and saw it, but I was away at college, so I didn't end up seeing it. But, uh, I heard it was good. People liked it. So, and like I said, trailer for the first day was very promising. Hey, yeah. Rude. So rude of them to try and hit me. How dare. Ha. There we go. There we go. Come on, please, just... There it is! There we go! <laughs> Up we get! My dad just arrived home, came to say hi. Please, just, please just die! Oh my gosh! Ah no! Ah. I'm in a bad place. Ah! Boy. No, I don't get to leave the house much. Looking forward to the fall guy coming out May sometime. Oh, interesting. What's the fall guy about? And yeah, I, I relate to not leaving the house much. I'll be honest. <laughs> I'll be honest. I relate to that. But yeah, what's uh, the fall guy about? I'll be honest. When when you said that, I, I thought of the video game, but I, you know. <laughs> I don't know much about fall guys either. I'm trying to think if there are any other ones that I'm really looking forward to. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I still haven't seen the new uh, Miyazaki movie, so that could be a fun one. Hmm. Okay. There we go. here. Mm. Okay, do you guys want to keep going and trying this one, or do we want to try something 
else. Because like I said, there are a lot of fights I wish to beat. Yeah. Although if I'm doing this one, I should probably go in a separate area. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm gonna try and beat this, this mantis trader up here. It's been a while since I've tried that. And I left the gate there for a reason. But to do that, I am going to travel to... Where is it? Yeah, where's the... Where's the... Somewhere in the crossroads? Where is it? Yeah, let's see. Um... Yeah, this is a hot spring beneath the ancestral mound, so I think I'll go do that. And, uh, actually, before we leave, we'll adjust our charms so that we don't get lost on the way. Mm -hmm. Do you want to see the new Miyazaki film, but in theaters? Oh yeah, that's totally fair. Yeah. I do that a lot too. If I see like one trailer and it's a movie I really want to see, I generally try to avoid all other trailers following it because the first one is usually just like a teaser, but every other one usually like gives away a lot of stuff and I'm not like, eh, I like, I like to leave some things a surprise, you know? Okay, and then we'll go like this. And then Sharp Shadow and Stalwart. And once we get where we need to go, we can adjust everything else. Which is going to be very exciting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, where shall I go to get to the thing? Yeah, I'll just... I'll head out. Head, um... Yeah, I'll head up to the, uh, yeah, I'll head up to the Spirit's Glade, and from there, hmm, where would be the closest, because crossroads are infected right now, so travel's really weird. Um, yeah, no, it'd still be the Forgotten Crossroads, I just have to take the roundabout way. There we go. Yeah. Fall Guy is an action comedy about a stuntman. Whenever I mention to friends, they think of the game. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe it's on purpose. Maybe they know it'll get people in seats, but that sounds really interesting. I like that. Is he like... Is it more of a documentary type thing? Or he's a stuntman who's going on an adventure type thing? Because like I said, Sounds pretty interesting. And we all fall down. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. Like that. Okay. Sure. We will go up. We'll go up. Nice. Nice. Like an adventure type film? Cool. Yeah. Maybe I'll have to look up a trailer after this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, actually, would taking the tram be faster? Let's try it. Yeah, sure. Try it. Oh wait, is this... No, it is the right way. Huh. Yes. Go resting grounds. Yeah, yeah. Let's take the tram, see where it leads us. Cause I think you can get to the the spa from there. Here we are. I, th I think it's so funny that they'll like play <laughs> that they'll play the music. Yes, I would like to press it. Thank you. Whee! Yeah, and just in case, we'll do a little save right here. When we exit. Yes. And then, I believe in order to get to it, we have to go down 
and oh yes the tram goes very brr. yeah i believe because of the passages that are blocked i need to go down and then up again yeah awesome there we go <laughs> wow r.i.p dude sorry yeah oh man the first time i saw this that was I didn't even know what to think. Uh, again, no spoilers. Don't tell me how to fix this. I'll figure it out on my own. But I will be fixing it. Thank you very much. Wait. Is this a... This looks like a place you could enter. Huh. Wait. Yeah, I need to... Yeah, I need to go up. Don't spit at me, dude. Ah! Ugh. Where do I need to go? Yeah, no, I'm I'm on the right track. Okay. And you stay away until they explode. Cool, 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 cool. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, and then we go up this way. Yeah, see, it's locked here, so we'll go this way. Yeah, I need to go through here. Perfect. Oh, I didn't jump enough. Whoops. There we go. At least these guys are unaffected. Alright. Yep, on the right track. And then we wait. Cool. And we wait. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's interesting. One of them's not infected. Huh. And then we go across here. Hey, buddy. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna pass on through. Mm -hmm. Forget what's up here again. I forget what's up here. More, more stuff, I guess. Okay. Moving right along. Mm-hmm. Yes, and then we go up. Ow. Sorry, dude. I, I fell on you. My bad. I meant for it to be quick and painless, but oh well. Aha! This is where I want to be. Yes. And then this is where we will save. And then... Let me see if I remember how to do this. Okay. Here we go. Travel. Yeah. And I put a gateway here because I am terrible at this jump. I get so hurt every time I try it. And so just for the sake of this fight, I need to have a way to get here that doesn't involve all the jumps because I'm just really bad just absolutely terrible <laughs> okay let's <sighs> like I said been a while since I've tried this fight so let's see ouch yeah smarter to just go through them hey buddy Get gushed. Aha! Nice to see you, honey. Ow. Yeah, this is gonna be bad news. 
and he stole my healing out from under me. Ow. Yeah, this guy's very tough. Don't hurt me. Ow. Mahala, please don't hurt me. Oh, right. Oh, gosh. Forgot about this. That means doing somewhat good, though. Ow. Thanks. <laughs> That good luck message is probably old, but thank you. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Yeah, and I know it can't fill all the way because it's shattered, but it still helps me out. Okay. Let us go again. All right. Hey, buddy. How's it going? All right. Let's get down to business. Okay, that was, uh, that was okay. That was okay. Not great, but okay. Okay, good. That was rude, my guy. Very rude. Ah! Don't let him fall on me. Okay. Maybe there's something special I need for this guy, but I don't know what it is, so we're just... We're just learning as we go here. Ow. Ow. My bad. That's on me. <laughs> I was a bit too eager there. Hmm. Cool. All right. Here we go. Ugh. Maybe I need a different strategy, but uh, I don't know what that strategy is. Actually, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we can do. Okay. Don't need this. I don't need this. That gives us two. What can we do with two? Do we have another two fur that'd be good for us? Oh. Huh. Oh, it doesn't increase damage, it increases recoil. Got it. Don't know if that's as good. Okay. 
you guys think of anything that'd be good? Mm -hmm. I'm kind of thinking... Oh, wait, duh. The one that I've been using this whole time. <laughs> uh, I'm silly sometimes. Okay. Let's go. Woo! All right. Time to get our soul back. Okay, start of the fight. It's trying not to get hit. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Hey, buddy! Sweet. Okay. Thank you! I don't remember what your name is, but thank you! He's a big guy. Yeah, all of his hits do too. That's alright. We carry on. Felt pretty good though. For the little while that I was there. Didn't survive long, but still felt pretty good about the whole endeavor. Up and let's go. And I know I need to defeat this guy because over yonder on the left looks like exploration I haven't done. And I do love me some exploring. Perfect. Alright. Oh, hi. Ow. <laughs> That was rude, dude. Come on. There you go. Not get lucky that time. Goodness me. Or that time. Oh my word. Ow. <laughs> oh, I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> oh, I just jumped right into that. Oh, my bad. Did you miss me? I missed you. I will say this is a uh, this is a lot faster to like get back and try again than uh, Fool's Trial. Hm. Thanks. 
Yeah, I appreciate that, honey. <laughs> I believe they are hard. Because I am in them. And I'm having a hard time. But yeah. There we go. Can you please take care of that? Thank you. But I am getting coins every time. Like, I, I'll be honest, I am paying so much attention to what I'm doing. I just have to have faith that uh, she's helping because I, I cannot see if she's landing hits. Like, I, <laughs> she could be doing absolutely nothing for all I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. We're in it again. Woohoo! There we go. Okay. Back again. I'm just gonna heal, pretend that didn't happen. Yes. Thank you. Whoa! Okay, I got him. Interesting that all the attention is placed on me. That's uh, real great for me, I'm sure. Speaks well of how highly he thinks of me or something. Ow. Ow. Meh. Oh, dang it. Ah, uh, my dash hadn't recovered. I just ran straight into him. Well, that's okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Into the water. Mm -hmm. It's very nice that in this corrupted wasteland, there's a place that is uncorrupted. That's very nice. Yeah, no, very... Very hopeful. I enjoy that. Okay. There we go. And one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Cool, awesome. Dude, I came over. Thank you. Awesome. Hello. Thank you. Hooray! 
Ow. I've been streaming long enough. I'm starting to flag a little bit. Yeah, but I don't like ending without my soul. So really fast. Just gonna... kind of sudden but uh i think i'm gonna end for today thank you guys so much for being here really really appreciate it and i hope you had a little bit of fun watching me on the grind didn't manage to beat the fool's third trial but like i said at the start this is just for fun thank you i'm glad you think i did good uh yeah but um yeah i'm planning to go live every wednesday pretty consistently Keep an eye on the community tab and my various socials if you want to know exactly when. And yeah, look forward to my next video because the page, the script is currently 14 pages and that's how long the Ballora video was. So uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, Wilzar. Hope to see you there. And yeah, again, look forward to the future video because it's gonna be a big old chunky one. <laughs> all right, thank you guys so much, and I will see you all later. <laughs> all right, bye guys. <laughs>